Hi, this is Jeff Lovett and welcome to another Small Business Marketing video. As you can see, we are finally in our new video studio we've been talking about. And before we get started on today's topic, I want to give you a quick tour and show you some of the ways that we built this set without spending a lot of money. This is a problem that I know many of you face. We'll talk about that in a minute, not having a lot of money to spend on marketing. So we built a lot of the things on this set using old or repurposed items or we opted instead to buy uh, inexpensive products or even build them ourselves. This room was part of my former business, Summerhill Digital Recording Studio. I built the recording studio about 12 years ago. We had maybe a hundred bands and artists that came and recorded here, but after the recession in 2008, the demand for that service really dried up. So I was looking for a way to repurpose this space and when we started our new creative content marketing agency, Summerhill Digital, this became the perfect place for us to repurpose and call home. Now I'm going to grab my other camera here and take a few shots so that you can see the space. And please pardon the fact that uh, there are still lots of work to be done around here. I like, uh, I'm like a lot of you guys and only can do it a little a bit at a time as time can afford. So let's take a look at, at, at the space. This back wall used to be covered in cloth with the Recording Studio's logo painted on it, so I knew it wouldn't work for a video studio, so we had to cover it up. So what we did was we went out and we found old discarded shipping pallets, which we then cut up, put a little dark stain on them, and used them to panel the back wall. I think it looks really cool, all the different textures and colors. Total cost for this huge wall, about $20 for the stain, $15 for the nail. The, the wood was free. Also built my own lights to illuminate the back wall. They would have cost me maybe $500 if I bought them from a lighting store, but I just used some old scrap lumber, made two side lights, and I made this light array that's called a psych or a kicker that sits on the floor. I think I spent about $5 on some of the hardware, but I had everything else. The only real cost of the lights was the special compact fluorescent bulbs that I had to order for the proper light color on the back wall. You, you can't use regular soft light bulbs that you find at Walmart. They have to be rated to a certain color degree so everything doesn't look yellow. But still, the bulbs for all three lights cost me only about $60. I already had all the other lights, so the total cost for us to remodel this space was about $100. And as you can see, you don't need a lot of money to create an interesting space for your videos. In fact, if you already have an interesting backdrop in your store, maybe a colorful merchandise wall with lots of things on the shelves, or maybe a cool brick wall somewhere, you already have a backdrop. All you need is a little light and you are ready to go. Which brings me to what I want to introduce today, the topic for my next series of videos on the biggest problems that people have with their marketing. If you open up last week's marketing email, you notice that I didn't do a video. Instead, I used a really cool free program that I discovered called SurveyMonkey. It allows you to very easily create surveys that you can send to your customers. And unless you have a huge list, it is free. What I wanted to know exactly was why everybody watches these videos and what they really wanted to gain from the experience. I mean, I'm not creating these videos so I can watch myself talk. I want them to provide you with information that you can use to be more successful in your business. So I first asked five questions. And not very many people responded, so I thought that's too many. So I sent out another survey and asked just one question, and a lot of you responded to that survey. And here's what I found out. The two biggest obstacles that my clients have with their marketing is not enough money and not enough time. And that's what I want to talk about for the next couple of weeks. What do you do if you need to market and advertise your business, but you're out of money and you're out of time? We're going to dive right into the results of the survey and tackle your hardest marketing problems, but we're not going to start until next week. When you guys said that you didn't have a lot of time for marketing, I decided I could help you out by producing videos that are a little shorter in the future. So until next week, click on the button below if you have a question about your marketing that I can help you with, and we'll dive right into your biggest marketing problems on next week's video. I will see you then.